Now we welcome our new political correspondent, Michael Crick, to the programme. I say new, but Michael rejoins Channel 4 News after a 21-year break. And naturally enough, Michael, you've been up to no good already. You've been trying to find out who funds the Lib Dems. Yes, John. Well, it, it's been a difficult period for the Lib Dems since they came to office politically, but also financially. Uh, when they went into government, they lost what's known as the short money, which is the state funding that is given to opposition parties. That was worth nearly £2 million a year to the Liberal Democrats. But instead, they've discovered now that they're in power, they can make rather more money out of businessmen. There's actually a dinner starting round about now in a Swiss hotel here in Birmingham. 200 businessmen being charged £5,000 for a table of 10 people. The prices are up 40% on what the Lib Dems charged uh, when they were in opposition, a mere opposition, small opposition party. And today here at the conference has been known as what's known as Corporate Day, where quietly behind the scenes, uh, businessmen pay £800 to come here and talk to senior Lib Dems and ministers. I've been trying to find out what's been going on. It's part of the conference the Lib Dems would no doubt prefer us to ignore. Corporate Day billed as a programme of breakout policy sessions with senior Lib Dems. But it looks distinctly like a chance for businessmen to buy access to government ministers. Uh, right. Work for Imperial Tobacco. So are you hoping that the uh, Lib Dems might be persuaded to um, relax some of the rules on tobacco? Not necessarily. What we want is open access to government and a fair deal. They're selling access, aren't they? No, I don't, I don't think it's so much selling access. Um, I think. Well, you wouldn't be allowed into the room if you hadn't paid your eight hundred pounds. Well. Um, I'd, I'd, I think it's I think it's important that uh, particularly on a business day um, that business is allowed to so rich people rich businesses can get the access uh, on corporate day and uh, the rest of the world has to uh, wait their turn and do it in the normal way can't anyone get access to their MP they weren't the only tobacco firm to cough up where are you from British American tobacco I've had access to um, quite a few uh, government ministers like Ed Davey and and also even met Greg Clark, so good to well, see the During the course of the day? Coalition. Yeah. Really? Coming out together, yeah. So it's worth the £800, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but we, not having paid £800, were rather less welcome. Sorry, the client doesn't want anyone to be interviewed on the four eyes that are coming up. OK. It was all about getting their message across, this somewhat shy official claimed. Why are you so, why are you so sensitive about it? Well, it's just a private event. You seem to be giving, you seem to be giving the impression you prefer we weren't here. Well, yes. I mean, it's just uh, just a quiet event. But, but it's a uh, fundraising thing, isn't it? It's our opportunity to talk to business. Okay, and we need to be able to get our message across directly. And to raise some money for the party. It's, we've got to talk to people directly. Otherwise, we won't be able to um, we won't be able to get our message across. But it's not just about getting your message across, is it? It's a fundraising thing. Only later, we discovered, is the Lib Dem's chief fundraiser. And here's Ollie Grender, advisor to Nick Clegg. So you, you fund your party by um, selling access to members of ministers. Well, a corporate day Directors is a standard event at all party conferences. But if you're against it, I suggest you set up a campaign for public funding, which is what the Lib Dems believe. Michael Crick doing what Michael Crick does. Um, M Michael, I, the mood of the conference is absolutely fascinating because I think people were thinking there was certainly a bit of dissent. After all, unemployment is going up, uh, growth projections down. Uh, we're in awful economic trouble. And yet the mood here, no attrition, no fighting, great unity. Well, it's, it, you assess the mood, in, I assess the mood in two different levels. There's the high level, which is doom and gloom and the economy is not recovering as fast as it should be and the public finances and the banking system uh, is in huge trouble. Uh, and of course some of the things that the Liberal Democrats particularly cherish are in huge trouble, such as uh, the EU, the Eurozone uh, and the environment. And yet, as you say, uh, at the lower level, the mood is amazingly cheerful. I mean, there isn't a big punch-up this year like there was on uh, Michael Goes Free Schools and Academies last year uh, or on health at the, the, fring, uh, fring, uh, the Spring Conference. Um, and actually, I think delegates here and, and members of Parliament and so on are slowly getting into the swing of coalition government and realising they're actually having perhaps more influence on that coalition government than the, than the Conservatives, and many Conservatives are rather complaining about that.